Bible Promises for Financial Blessings Matthew 4 verse 4 Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Most of us live by our own strength. We do everything in the flesh. We expect no miracles, and so we get none. 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord runs to and fro throughout the whole earth, to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Are you seeking the favor of God over your finances today? Do you need a breakthrough in your business or promotion and increase at work? Are you like most of us, desperate to be free from financial hardship? If you are praying for a financial breakthrough like I am, there is no better place to turn than God's word. If it is in the Bible, then it is God's promise to you. Numbers 23 verse 19 says, God is not like a man, he does not lie. So today I am trusting God for a financial breakthrough. Listen and meditate on his words every day. They will bless your life. Let's begin. Proverbs 23 verse 4 to 5. Do not weary yourself to gain wealth. Cease from your consideration of it. When you set your eyes on it, it is gone. For wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies towards the heavens. Psalm 37 verse 16. Better is the little of the righteous than the abundance of many wicked. James 2 verse 5. Listen, my beloved brethren. Did not God choose the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he promised to those who love him? Ecclesiastes 4 verse 6. One hand full of rest is better than two fists full of labor and striving after wind. Proverbs 17 verse 5. He who marks the poor taunts his maker. He who rejoices as calamity will not go unpunished. Psalm 12 verse 5. Because of the devastation of the afflicted, because of the groaning of the needy, now I will rise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he longs. Proverbs 22 verse 22. Do not rob the poor because he is poor or crush the afflicted at the gate. 1 Timothy 6, verse 17 to 19. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they may be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in stores for themselves a good foundation against the times to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 12 to 14. People who work hard sleep well, whether they eat little or much, but the rich seldom get a good night's sleep. There is another serious problem I have seen under the sun. Hoarding riches harms the saver, Money is put into risky investment that turns sour, and everything is lost. In the end, there is nothing left to pass on to one's children. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who is giving you power to make wealth, that He may confirm His covenant which He swore to your fathers as it is this day. Proverbs 15, verse 16. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than a great treasure and turmoil with it. Proverbs 11, verse 28. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 10. He who loves money will not be satisfied with money nor he who loves abundance with his income. Job 5, verse 15 to 16. But he saves from the sword of his mouth and the poor from the hand of the mighty. So the helpless has hope and unrighteousness must shut its mouth. Proverbs 13, verse 7. There is one who pretends to be rich, but has nothing 
Another pretends to be poor, but has great wealth. Proverbs 28 verse 20 A faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who makes haste to be rich will not go unpunished. Amen.